cleartakeinfo.com offers free help and advice for all of your computer, internet, and technology questions. Just register for a free membership, and after you receive your welcome email, you may log in and post your question on our help forums. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a screen capture using Faststone Image Viewer and share it online. First, open up Faststone Image Viewer. Then here, where it says File, go to Screen Capture. And make sure to file is selected. Then capture whatever you want on the screen. I'll just open up a browser. I'll pretend something's wrong with something on the site or something in the browser. I'll leave it open. Go back here. This is selected. I'll just capture the full screen. So the full screen is captured. And then it asks me where I want to save it. I'll save it to my desktop. You can save it to various different formats. For screen capture, usually the best format is PNG. A higher format would be TIFF, but PNG is more shareable online than TIFF is. It's more compatible. Once you have done that, you can see here that is created, just double click it. This is the screen capture. Right click anywhere on the capture. I'll pretend I would like to crop it. So all I have to do is go down to edit, crop. So I will be cropping the image I just created of my screen. I'll just select the browser and crop that. Once I've selected it, just hit crop and it crops it. Now it is cropped. Also I would like to make some annotations to this. So go and right click it, edit, go down to draw board, click that, click the A, and I could create a box somewhere. Just start typing. Enter when you're done. Actually, it's escape. And you could adjust that size and just leave it anywhere here. Also, you could choose one of the tools, the pencil. Go down here and make sure the width is exactly what you want. 20 would probably be too thick. Go down. In case you want to make any annotations like a program isn't working or something on a website, web page, you could always circle it. If that's too thick, you could always go down again. You could also change color. Then there's another tool here which is sort of like a marker slash highlighter. As you can see, it just highlights things. When you're done, just click OK. Click Escape. Do you want to save the changes you have made to this image? If you would like to save the changes you have just made, just click Yes. And it saves the changes. This allows you to save it to another file or the same one. If you want to save it to the same one, just click Save instead of typing anything extra here. 
Yes. Now I will show you how to upload it and share it online. Open up your internet browser. There are many different image hosting sites you could visit. One of my favorites is tinypig.com. You could also go to Image Shack US, Photo Bucket, tinypig.com. Browse. I saved it to my desktop, so I will go to my desktop. There's the image. This is just some ad it popped up. Image is there, so I just click upload now. Always go for the direct link. Highlight that. Right click, copy. So now it is copied. And then go to whatever site you want to to share the picture on. I'll show you how to share the image on the ClearTake Info help forums. I'm going to log into the site first. Once you're logged in, you can post the image. And it doesn't have to be any special login like mine. Anybody could get a free membership at cleartakeinfo.com and post images. I'll just pick anything really quick. Click new topic. Tags, you can name the site, whatever you want. Remember, you copy the info from here already. Just need to select this and then right click, paste. Remember, it has to be in between this bracket right here and this one. When you have done that, I'll show you a preview. It's a little image right there. Or what you could do, right below it, just paste it, and somebody could just click it. I'll show you. The site automatically shrinks all images down, but you could just provide a link underneath or just throw a link up without any thumbnail. And anybody could just go in there and click it, and it'll go straight to the image. As you can see, this is a screen capture you created. That's how to create a screen capture and share it online. Of course, you could email it to a friend, share it on a messenger, upload it to MySpace, Twitter, Facebook, or do anything else you want with it. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.